Okay, we have two integrals on the spot. The first one is this, the second one is that. And as you can see, they look very different, but the truth is, they are actually very similar. Anyway though, as always, please pause the video and try them first. Xiao Tutu is right here because she wants to learn integrations. And uh, which one is your favorite? Definite integrals or indefinite integrals? Indefinite integral. Alright, so good choice. Alright, let's do this one first. It does look familiar, huh? Because we actually did that in the 100 integrals video already. And if you have seen that already, thank you so much. Well, right here, we can actually complete the square on the bottom, but we will have to first divide the top and bottom by x square. So let me just write that down right here for you guys. And then right here, we will see that the top, after we multiply the out, we will get 1 plus 1 over x square over, multiply the bottom, x square minus 1 plus 1 over x square, like this, which is very nice. Then, as promised, I'm going to complete the square for you guys on the bottom. Have a look. This right here is the same as saying x square. And then I will just put down parentheses, 1 over x inside, and then square. And then the minus 1, let me just put that all the way at the end, right here. Now, this right here, it can be a perfect square if we have the middle term. Namely, 2 times this and that. And either we have the plus or the minus. Which one should we use though? Well, we actually have to take a look at what's on the top. Because most likely we'll end up with x and then with the 1 over x, right? And perhaps the most powerful technique when we are doing integration is the u substitution. We want to let u equal to x and also 1 over x. If we differentiate that, we get 1 minus 1 over x squared. But here we have the plus. So, in fact, I will need to have a minus 2 times x times this, which is 1 over x. So, this right here is going to give us something really nice, you'll see. But, you see this right here is actually just a minus 2. Well, don't forget to plus 2, so we can pretend nothing happened, right? Alright, now, here we have the following. Integral on the top is just 1 plus 1 over x squared over... All this is just uh, x plus 1 over x, and then to the second power, and uh, here we have minus 1 plus 2. That's just 1, yes. Alright, so this is plus 1, and then we have the dx. Then as we can see, we can just let u, sorry, this right here should be a minus, right? Okay? Minus. Alright, then here, we're just going to let u equal to x minus 1 over x, and you see the du will just be 1 minus, but the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. So it becomes a plus now, which is very good. And the best part is, the top is precisely our du. So this right here is just integrating 1 over u squared plus 1 in the u world, and the answer for that is just the inverse tangent of u, and we know u is that, so we are done actually. I'll just write down the final answer. Inverse tangent of u, which is x, minus 1 over x, and then we're all done. So don't forget the plus c. So this is it. Alright, now let's take a look right here. Hmm, how can we do this? Integration by parts, u sub, uh, partial fractions, tricks up? No. But yes, we have to use u sub. But why did I bring that up? Yes, we are going to divide everybody by x squared first. And you'll see, this actually works out very nicely. And I got this question actually from the book called the Pune and Beyond. And it's pretty cool, so you guys can go check out more questions if you like. Alright, so for this one, let me just again divide everybody by one the x squared, so I'll just put down 1 over x squared right here. And then we are going to have, well, the top is just cosine x over x to the first power, and then this is minus, here we have sine x over x squared, like this, yeah. And then over, multiply this out, we get 1 plus this and that. Well, both of them are of the second power. So I will put this down as parentheses with sine x inside over x like this, and then square, and then of course we still have the dx right here, all right? So let me just make the integration sign longer and bigger, yeah, like that. All right, so 
That's what we have. Earlier, we had to complete the square, huh? But right here, do we need to complete any squares? No, because we have this right here already. Well, if we let u equal to this, what will happen? Let's take a look. If u is equal to sin x over x, then du will just be, by the quotient rule, we have the bottom square, and then the bottom times the derivative of the first, so x times cosine x, and then minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1. And at the end, we have the dx, right? And of course, we can split this a little bit. We see this is just cosine x over x, and then this is minus sine x over x squared, and we have the dx. Yes, all this together is what we have on the top. So again, we are just integrating 1 over 1 plus u squared in the u world. And again, we will end up with inverse tangent of u, but this time the u is sine x over x. That's pretty much it, and we are done. So I'm just going to close it, and then don't forget the plus c, and this right here is it, right? So, pretty cool, pretty fun, and hopefully you guys all like this, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know. You impressed? Very impressed. All right, great. So, bye. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for coming, thank you for coming. <laughs>